Hey, what is going on guys? This is Starsha and welcome back to another video on the channel. Today we have another season update of my Season 5 Tactics Evolve campaign in Lord of the Rings Rise to War. So hope you guys do enjoy this video and if you do, please do drop a like, comment and subscribe to the channel and don't forget to turn on those post notifications. Anyway, let's get straight into it. Okay guys, so you're probably looking at this video right now and you're noticing a couple of things. One is probably my ring power. Um, I'm no longer sitting at like 12k or 10k ring power. I'm not like 38 thousand ring power and another thing is probably my tiles i no longer have like you know barely 100 tiles i'm now at nearly 200 out of 216 tiles so yeah um let's go and have a look at the map first and from there i'll explain exactly what has happened since the last video so if we click on the map and we have a look well as you can see things have definitely changed for one Arno it has a lot of territory back again Lothlorien from having like no territory or maybe it was one territory when you last saw we now have a bunch of our lands back we have uh we have north downs we have Tro troll shores we have rivendell we have Eregion, and we have moria and we even have the upper anduin vale so what exactly is happening how is this possible well what happened was Basically, Rohan and Gondor were betrayed at the ring, okay? So, there was, you know, the massive ring fight. They were meant to have a massive FFA at Dol Guldor. So, what actually happened was the Varigs, the Erebor, and Linden made an alliance with one another. So, basically, they made an alliance to target Rohan and Gondor. And Gondor was already weakened because they had fought the Varigs a lot in the south. And they had fought, I think, a little bit maybe of Mordor or maybe it was the Varigs as well to the east. So they, Gondor was weakened from fights already with the Varigs leading up to the ring fight. And then at the ring fight, basically Linden, Erebor and the Varigs targeted the Rohan players and just wiped out all their forts and armies and stuff. And afterwards, they had a fight between themselves for the ring. So that's, that's what happened as far as I understand it. And yeah, basically, obviously that really pissed off Rohan and Gondor because the Varigs, Erebor, Linden, they tried to put it off as, you know, it was a fair FFA and, you know, it, they just got unlucky and they lost the ring. So that's that's what, that's what the tale that Linden, Erebor and the Varigs were trying to spin as far as I'm aware. Guys, if you are from Erebor, Linden and Varigs and you think I'm wrong, you know, let me know in the comment section below. This is just what I've heard and so what I'm, uh, you know, putting into this video. But yeah, so the FFA went wrong because those guys teamed up against Rohan and Gondor. Rohan and Gondor were annoyed, so they turned to Arno and Lothlorien. And yeah, we came back to life from our state of being dead, <laughs> which we kind of weren't really dead. But yeah, we came back and we allied with Rohan and Gondor because they had grievances now as well with the Erebor and Varig alliance. And now we have two uh, super alliances. We have Arno, Lothlorien, Rohan and Gondor on one side. And we have Linden, Erebor, Variegs, Mordor, and Gundabad on the other side. Though Gundabad, I believe, are trying to just stay neutral up here and keep their, their capital and their lands that they do have. Mordor, I'm not really sure what they're up to. But Linden, we've cleared them out of the west. Or more accurately, Arno has cleared them out of the west. Uh, Lothlorien, we have taken back our lands in the west. And now we've pushed over to the east of the, what is this, the Lonely Mountains, I believe. No, I mean the Misty Mountains. I don't know. But yeah, we've pushed east of the mountain range and we're now in the Upper Anduin Vale. We are going to be taking our capital, Karis Galadhorn, back. And then we're going to be pushing into Erebor and against the Varigs and all of that stuff. So yeah, that that was basically the turning point because Lothlorien, we had nothing. Oh no, they had nothing. We were basically all dead. And after, the, after Rohan and Gondor were betrayed at the ring... They turn to us and with them joining us, the four of us are enough to actually, you know, push back and defeat the other factions. Though it's a very balanced fight. And I believe in terms of actual ring power, I believe the Erebor Linden Varig Alliance from the last chart I saw has is still stronger than Rohan Gondor Arnon Loth. But we're definitely catching up and getting lands back and upping our production, etc. So yeah, that is our map. It's obviously, you know. Nice to see Arno and Lot back on the map. I'm not sure what's happening like with some of the lands. I'm assuming Gondor will probably give us these two uh, territories over here, like to Lot, and then Rohan will give uh, the capital, obviously plus maybe well maybe just the capital and this 
back over to Arno. I'm not really sure how the division of territories is going to work, but I'm assuming something like that, where Arno gets more of the stuff in the west, uh, Loth gets that, and obviously like stuff like Central, Markwood, maybe Tor if we're pushing here. I'm not sure. We may be leaving Tor and Arath alone though, because it's owned by Gundabad. And then maybe Rohan and Gondor will obviously get to split the Mordor, Varig, Erebor lands over here. So yeah, that this is an overview of our map. As you can see, there's a bunch of red weapons everywhere. Uh, we have fighting in Harindor between the Varigs and Gondor. We have more fighting by Lebanon, obviously between Gondor and the Varigs as well. Then we have fighting at Emin Mule between uh, Rohan and the Varigs. We have fighting at the Celebrant Fields between Rohan... Um, between Rohan, Linden, and Erebor, and then we have the fights with Lothlorien and Erebor up here in the north. This red warpen is between Arnor, uh, well, there is one Arnor fellowship there, there's Loth, and we're fighting up against Linden and the Erebor players over there. So yeah, a lot of war everywhere, as you can see. I am very happy. I am finally able to actually maintain and, you know, actually build up a nice army. I finally unlocked my T4s, like, I finally unlocked March Wardens, and you know how great March Wardens are, built in stun immunity, raised defense, and they have built in pursuit as well, so pretty goddamn great T4. Probably one of the strongest in the game, I'd say. Not the strongest, but I'd say probably like second strongest, maybe? So yeah. Anyway, let's have a look over here. So progress, obviously we finished everything, all the season progress is done, and yeah, if we have a look at challenge. We can see that I've also finished my battle pass over here, so I've got all of the rewards. We have a look at targets. So Occupy Dolgal Door, obviously we don't have that. United Faction Control, we're currently ranking at 4th over here. United Defense, we're going to have that sorted out once we recapture Karis Galatant and Illuminas. Rings Power, we've got that sorted out as well. In terms of ranking now, if we look at personal production, I'm sitting at number 87. And uh, let's just have a look. I'm just looking for Loth flags pretty much. I'm just trying to see if I'm the Loth player with the most personal production. Since this would be like the first time <laughs> that's ever happened. So that would be pretty great. Um, let's see. Yeah, okay. So I am the Loth player with the highest production. After me, I think is... Who is it? Ah, yeah. It's Mo ZS with 26k. Uh, anyway, if we have a look at fellowship production, so fellowship production at number one we have KWSN from Rohan at 1.7 million. At number two we have Eyes from the Variags at 1.6 million. At number three we have Ox from Erebor at 1.6 million. Number four and five are both Variag warbands as well, Merc and TBKH 1.5 and 1.4 million respectively. Cassell has finally pushed up to the number six spot. They had 1.3 million. Dam from Erebor is at 1.2 million, Elrond or Iron Guard from Rohan is at 1.2 million, and then Cassell and SOTN are both at 1.1 million, sitting at number 9 and number 10 respectively. Um, Iron from Lothlorien, we're at number 13 with 920,000, Dads from Lothlorien at number 18 with 700 and something K. Uh, Markwood from Lothorian at number 21 with 500k, and then my uh, fellowship ring, then yeah, we're at 29 with 180k, and we only have like 10 players, so 10 players for that amount is pretty goddamn good. So, yeah, that is the situation now, that is the map uh, nowadays. We finally made our comeback, we're pushing nice and hard, we have our nice mega alliance against the enemy mega alliance, and you know, it's very, it's actually very balanced, you know, it's like four factions against like, well three strong factions and then like two kind of strong but not actually strong because they're not full factions so yeah i mean it's in the end it's power wise we're pretty much equal so that's pretty great anyway i will be seeing you guys in the next video and obviously i will definitely keep you guys updated as to what's going on because this is definitely really fun as you can see there's a whole lot of red weapons everywhere we're fighting hard we're pushing to the east and yeah we're definitely gonna see just how much of a fight Erebor, Variggs, and Linden put up because I, I'm pretty no Linden is definitely suffering for land right now because they've lost a lot of land in the west. But I'm assuming they'll obviously get some land in the east from either their allies or they will take something like this down here, which is Andrast. And yeah, they'll they'll probably take that because Rohan I doubt will have any plays there. Or they'll they'll try to sandwich Gondor and crush them between the Variggs. So. 
yeah. Anyway, if you guys did enjoy this video, please do drop a like, comment, and subscribe to the channel, and don't forget to turn those post notifications. Anyway, I'll see you guys in the next video.